hello everyone welcome to my other video let's start a new tutorial on result implementation using node express and react here i have two boilerplates ready for client and server i have created the server boilerplate using express generator and the client boilerplate using uh, create react app so let's start with the server one so open your terminal and inside your server directory uh, first i have to install some third party libraries uh, to work on so for this uh, to write npm space i i for here install course and then laser pay and press enter and it will download uh, all the dependency of this library uh, in your uh, node or you can say express project so here inside this app.js file you can see that express has defined many things for you and here uh, i need to declare the course so for that uh, just write const course equals to require course and i need to use it as my middleware so write app.use and inside it just pass the instance of uh, course okay so now i need to set up the routes so here you can see that express generator has already defined one route uh, that is user so that uh, we can go to the user router and i have to change it to result pay and also i have to change it to result pay router and to rename that uh, file uh, that is user.js so rename that to result pay router and make sure to import it at the top and then save it and go inside this laser pay router.js file and here you can see some kind of code is there and just remove those okay so inside this file i have to first import laser pay so for that write const laser pay equals to require laser pay and then i will need to import the request so for that in the next line just write const request equals to require request okay now oh, what i have to do i have to declare some keys so for that i have to write const keys and here uh, i will import it from one file that is keys.js so for that uh, sim simply write require and give the path that is dot slash uh, keys.js and uh, okay write dot dot slash uh, keys.js because i will keep it inside my root directory of server so create one file named keys.js and here simply write module dot exports and from here uh, you have to export two keys one is uh, the result by id key and the other one is result pay secret key and the both you will get from the result pay website and i will show you how to get it so write result pay uh, id secret and for now uh, make it to null or blank okay so now come inside the result pay website so here you have to first uh, activate some payment methods uh, to activate you will need some id proofs and all and make sure that you are already inside uh, this test mode and here you can see that i have already created one secret key and i'm just deleting this key to show you how to generate that so go inside the settings and you will get one option to generate your key and the key secret so just copy these things copy the first uh, result pay id key and paste it here and again copy this key secret and paste it here okay now save it and again go inside result pay router.js file and here uh, you have already uh, defined this keys uh, file or you have already imported this keys file inside your result pay router.js so after that simply write const uh, laser instance because you have to create one instance of result pay 
to use it so write equals to new result pay and here for simply pass key underscore id make sure that you have the return it correctly because uh, result pay won't accept any uh, object name except key id and key secret so just write like that key id and key secret okay and then simply give keys dot user id key and keys dot user id secret okay so now i need to make some uh, endpoints so for that uh, just write router dot get uh, slash order and it will take the request and response and whenever uh, i will hit to this uh, slash order it will go inside this so inside is just write try and i will need some options for the result pay implementation so write const option equals to first give the amount so i'm giving the amount as 10 into 100 on currency as inr and receipt will be just give anything here and payment capture is uh, i'm giving as zero because i need to manually capture the payment so you can give also the one for uh, automatic capture now uh, just write result to instance dot order dot create and here pass the options and uh, then you will get one callback function of async function and here it will give the error and the order so if uh, any uh, error is there just uh, return one response using the 500 uh, response code and also the message request as something uh, error okay so uh, now uh, if there are no errors just simply uh, return the response of the order so here the order contains all the order id details and all and finally catch uh, it and uh, again just uh, return the response with uh, 500 uh, code and the message as something error now uh, i have to define one post api so for that uh, just write router.post then slash capture and then the payment id and that i will uh, throw from the front end part and then uh, inside this uh, just like try and return the request make sure that you have already uh, imported request uh, inside this file and inside this request i want to first define the method that is post and then you have to declare the url so make sure that you have written the correct url and so don't worry i will give the full project link inside my description section you can check it out so for now uh, just write https uh, colon double slash and then give the uh, secret key and then give colon and then give sorry uh, first it will be the id key and then give colon and then give the secret key and then write add api dot dot com slash v1 slash payments and then pass the payment id slash capture and inside the form uh, again you have to write the amount so here i'm just uh, hard coding the amount as 10 into 100 you can pass it from your front end uh, part and the currency will be again inr and uh as a response i will get one asynchronous function and it will give me the error and also the response and the body and if any error is there uh, i will simply return the request uh, return the response uh, as 500 error code and the message as something went wrong and if there is no error just uh, uh, response the body now inside the catch just do the same thing for error response okay now uh, if you go inside uh, www file you have to change the port to 3000 to 5000 because i'm going to uh, run my node server at port 5000 now simply open your terminal and write npm space start to start your server 
and if you go inside the browser and open localhost 5000 port you can see the express welcome to express message there so uh, your server is running successfully okay now uh, go inside the client directory and try to start the client part so i have already told you that i have created the client using create react app so first go inside public directory and here you need to paste one link that will get inside the razor pay website uh, so if i go inside this razor pay website you can see one script file is there you can just uh, copy the link from there okay now save it and go inside first okay okay uh, first i need to install some third party libraries that i need to use it inside my react project so write npm install, install and make sure that you have already inside uh, this uh, client directory and write npm space install space axios and it will take some time to install axios inside to your client directory and wait for some time i think it won't take that much time to install because it is very small library okay now my installation has been completed now minimize that uh, for now i will run the server later okay now go inside the uh, ssc directory and here you can see one default uh, functional component is there now uh, first delete everything from there and i will uh, uh, use one react snippet to form one react classful component and then you have to import the xus from the library xus because i'm going to make some HTTP calls from here and then uh, inside the render method i'm going to return one button and the class name of that button will be btn btn primary because i have already used uh, bootstrap inside this project and uh, the text of that button will be pay now and now i'm going to create one uh, constructor using the snippet r const and but before writing inside the constructor i would like to create one uh, handler method that is async razor pay handler and i have to bind it inside my uh, constructor and i will call this method whenever the button will be clicked so that uh, so inside this on click event i will call the this dot razor pay handler and i will pass e to prevent the default behavior of this button now i'll simply write const order URL, and here you can see that i'm going to use localhost 5000 so i'll write localhost 5000 because it will be my backend uh, you can say endpoint or address now the slash order will be my first endpoint because i'm going to uh, fetch the order id from there now simply write const uh, response equals to await axios.get order url and i will get the order url uh, i will get the order details from there and i will collect the response inside my data and here you can see that i have the key id of laser pay so inside the options you have to pass the key as the result pay id key and then you have to write the name so here i'm writing the name as av dojo and also the description you have to give uh sorry you have to write description also i'm giving the description as av dojo and okay and i will need uh, i think uh, one handler and it will be nothing but one uh, anonymous function that will give me some response so inside it uh, simply write try 
uh, inside the try block write const payment id equals to response dot result pay uh, underscore payment underscore id and write const url equals to and here just copy the base url that is uh, local was 5000 and you can paste it here and after that you have to simply write but uh, just okay okay paste it here and after that you can simply write slash capture uh, slash payment id okay so you can uh, you have to pass the payment id uh, from the line before that and then write const capture response equals to await post and just pass that url and one blank object and here you can also pass some body if you wish to and then uh, write const result uh, const success object and here you can get the success object if your request is successful you can get it from there and i will simply uh, distract this object to get the captured value and if i get that value i'll simply lock as payment success and inside the catch block i will get the error and i will simply lock the error now save it and you can also give the theme so here i'm giving the theme color as uh, 686 cft okay now uh, write const rzp1 equals to new window dot result pay and pass the options and finally uh, just write rzp1 dot open so here I am. Uh, I have a written window because I have declared it inside my uh, index.html file. The result pay URL. So now uh, write npm uh, space start to start your React server. So you can see one error is there uh, that I haven't used the data. So here actually I have to pass one key that is order ID and the order ID is nothing but data dot ID so now save it and you can see the error has been gone and now just click on this ok button to save the credential of result pay now go inside this local host 3000 port and you can see one error is there so let me figure out this error so if you go back to your code editor you can see that i have binded this laser pay handler method and i don't need to bind it because i have uh, used async here so uh, if you go inside your browser you can get one pay now button and if you click on that uh, you can get one pop-up and there uh, this is the pop-up of result pay and here you can see that multiple payments gateway is there so i'm just making one payment using the card and if you click on pay and it will take you to one page so that you can click on success or failure if you click on success it will again redirect you to the page from where you have requested and i'm showing you the developer tools the console actually and if you go inside the console you can see the success method is there so uh, it is clear now that the payment has been captured successfully so that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed this video please click on the subscribe and like button if you like this video thank you